boy Chaz here with another edition of All Types of Idol here giving you my take on what went down in Orlando auditions for American Idol season 9 and you know what I know for a fact this city got the most talent you want to know why is because I audition baby you know it and you know what um, I do have pictures and video but if you want to see that you gotta go ahead and visit my Facebook the link is gonna be right over there um, that means a friend. I've done musicals when I was a kid. So to find out that Kristen Chenoweth was the guest judge, I'm freaking jealous. This sucks. First off was Glitter. Oh my goodness, Glitter. What, what should I say? When I was in line, this guy was twirling and twirling and twirling. And he was like, I'm going to be the next American Idol, baby. Uh, I was like, this guy for sure is going to be on TV. And you know what? I never heard the guy sing. I thought he was a horrible singer. But you know what? This guy does have a voice on him. Again, one of those cases where he's screaming the song rather than singing the song. And it's kind of a cop-out that he did Heartbreaker because Heartbreaker was actually the song that we sang in the crowds where they asked everyone to sing a song. And Glitter, of course, had to give the meaning to wrong door. It was like wrong path, wrong everywhere. Next up, we're treated to a montage of people that went in and came out unsuccessful. One of those people was my boy, Abdul. How you doing, Abdul? Woohoo! I know he's watching. His number was 68237. If you play it back, if you're able to see the episode again, but I sat next to this dude in the audition. He's one of the few people that I hung out with. He's a cool cat. I never really heard him sing, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one of these days he'll try out Idol Surf. Maybe. <laughs> but it's pretty cool to see someone on TV, even though he didn't make it. I'm cool that he got his little few minutes of fame. I don't want that fame now, damn it. You gotta tell me the trick. Next up was Seth Rollins, and I gotta tell you, his audition kind of made me well up a little bit, <laughs> like, a, like a little baby. Um, his son has autism. Um, if you ever have a child with autism, then you know how hard it is to take care of that child. You know, it's kind of like a joy, though. Anyway, the, the point where I really start kind of lose it is when he was about to go in the room and the son was falling. It's like, Dad, I want to go. That just, that just, that just tugged at my heart. So this dude ends up singing Someone to Watch Over Me. And this guy has a very nice tone. It's like one of those tones where, you know, I just lie back and just relax. He has a relaxing, calm voice. My only problem is I don't see a star and I'm afraid that because of that I don't think he's gonna go as far as I want him to. But I already know he's gonna have a hard time being away from his son. I can just tell. The next guy that's saying Jermaine Purifoy dude got a natural silky smooth voice that I haven't heard in a while. And you know what I love about it? It he made it sound so easy and then that high note that he hit it's like Woo! Silk! I'm betting this guy's gonna make the top 24. I don't know if he's gonna make the top 12 because he has to compete with Mr. Sellers, but I think this dude is gifted, all pure. Next up was Shelly Pressel, and I think she has Bell's Posse, where like one side of her face is like paralyzed. Beautiful girl, you know, even through that. She's saying Nora Jones turned me on, and it's not really unique, but she has a strong vocal behind her. I don't think she's going to make it past Hollywood Week, but she deserves a chance at Hollywood. You know what I found really funny? is when she botched up her words, she was like, Ah! It was like a Jekyll and Hyde moment. Day two started, but they flashed like the past winners of the first day. And one of those people was Noel. He was jumping with his arm up. I also know for a fact there's another guy that I met over in Orlando. He was actually in uh, the hotel I was staying at. His name was John Stills. Um, if you ever get a chance to head on to the American Idol website, you can see his interview and Noel's interview too. So check that, that out. Next up was Jay Stone, and he's 
basically he came on a mission to tell Blake Lewis to stick it because he's the better beatboxer. And you know what? He is. I thought his audition was impressive with the beatboxing and how he was singing in between all those beatboxing. I, I thought that was freaking impressive. But of course, this is a singing competition. So he ended up singing like a song just purely on his own. And you know what? He has a really good voice. Nothing to really rah-rah about, but way better than Blake Lewis. Um, I just don't think he's really original, uh, you know, in the idol realm. But I gotta give it to Jay. He won the award for best reveal of a golden ticket. Girls Gone Wild Flash <laughs> ticket. I thought was hilarious. I hope Joe Francis was watching <laughs> to tell the girl that's the form you gotta use. <laughs> I'm going to Hollywood. Woo! they showed three girls that went to Hollywood obviously and they showed off their voice uh, Janelle Walker was singing House of the Rising Sun one of my favorite songs and she kind of countryfied it a little bit I think she has a good voice and he starred Jane sang American Boy and she has a great voice and it was like she sang it like it was nothing it was like easy but of course, the one girl that really impressed me, Cassie Bedford. This girl got purple hair, she's black, and she got a rasp. Oh, her voice drove me wild, and I hope this girl makes the top 24. I really wish that I met this girl in Orlando too. We would have had some good times. Now, here's an audition that really pissed me off. Cornelius uh, basically stole a move from one of his stripper friends. <laughs> he sang Proud Mary, and what really pissed me off, he did that split. I held on to my nether regions tight, because that hurt. But it really pissed me off, because he busted his pants. He split his pants down the side. Now, back in season five, I gotta show you this funny story. I split my pants. Now, I didn't do a split like he did. I'm too big of a chunky of a guy. But I got down on my knees when I got up. RIP! And I got sent home. So how the hell did I get sent home? I did this two seasons beforehand. Yet this dude makes it to the judges, split his pants, and he goes to Hollywood. I mean, his voice wasn't all that impressive. He could sing. He got through because of the split of the pants. And I'm... Oh, that... This audition so pissed me off. Next up was the De Simone sisters, Bernadette and Amanda. I gotta say that the Moan sisters are not really good at picking songs. Bernadette sang Hit the Road Jack, but she got a good voice, but that song was way too easy. It doesn't really show off what I think she's capable of. Amanda, on the other hand, picked a very tough song, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. It's hard to do, Whitney. Uh, she also has a voice, but that song was too big for her. But I really don't think they're going to last long. No, no sisters really last that long. Next up was Jared, and no offense, uh, because I haven't met the guy. But it appeared to me he looked drunk. Or if he wasn't drunk, he was probably getting over being drunk. When he sang Amazing Grace, I'm glad that he's going to give it up to God, but... His voice sounded like, you know, when you put a, pierce a hole through a balloon and it doesn't pop and the air just escapes out like flatulence? That's what his voice sounded like. He couldn't pay attention to what the judges were saying either. He had to be escorted out and he resisted being escorted because he really wants this. And I think he's freaking out the judges. I'm so glad that they put him in restraints because I didn't know what he was going to do next. Last up was Matt Lawrence and this guy got arrested for robbing a bank with a BB gun at 15 years old and he spent four years in juvie or jail but you kinda, I don't know if he got tried as a dollar or anything but he's looking to redeem himself now when this guy sang trouble oh my goodness I got chills this is one of the best auditions I've ever heard and you know what I'm going to remember this he was much better than Taylor Hicks uh, and like I told you I'm a sucker for gritty and husky voices. This guy got it and his high notes were like so controlled. 
Dude, this is the first time I felt we've seen an audition that can make a person reach the top 12. For sure. And you know what? I would be happy to go see him on tour too. I hope that he really lives up to his hype. So all in all, Orlando, you know how we do. We did good. We did good. And with that, I leave you with this clip. Peace out.